<laughs> so yeah, um, today this is a bit of a different video, we're going to try something a little bit different to usual and we're going to see how it goes. So welcome to another video. So it's been a little while since I've done a kind of vlog video and I've been having lots of fun reading other people's um, currently loving posts and I did do a couple, I say that I think I did two, um, at the beginning of the year um, but I've been terrible about doing them so I've decided to try something a bit different and this week, well this month, I'm going to share my October buys. So for those of you who know me, I'm not much of a shopper and that's kind of read as I hate shopping. <coughs> and uh, when I do buy something, I tend to research it for a very long time so I know I'm buying the right thing. And the stuff that we do buy is generally to replace something or to minimize it to make traveling a lot easier. So kind of making it a lot more easy to do and quick to pack, that sort of thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the stuff that I bought this month. It's been a very expensive month because my iPhone died and I had to replace that. And also I had to replace my waterproof jacket, which is something that I wear every single day. And so I kind of invested in it. So, and you'll be able to see this Tika. This is one of my cats. She's looking <laughs> rather disappointed by the camera and so she might stick around or she might not. So without further ado, here's to my October buys. So we'll start with my iPhone. I decided to purchase the iPhone 7 rather than the 8, partly because of price and partly due to the fact that I wanted a lot more storage and the price difference between the 7 and the 8 was ridiculous for the storage I wanted, so I upgraded to the 7, bought it outright, and that's what I'm using. So in the case here, this is Product Red, which means a percentage of the sale went to help an AIDS charity, and I did ideally want to get the red phone as well, but as soon as the iPhone 8 was released, they took that off the market, so I was lucky to actually get the, the case that goes to charity too. Next, I have, if you have been reading my Twitter, you'll realise that I've lost our summer buffs. So, we do have one spare one, because I like to have one for my neck and one available for my ears, because they're very sensitive. And um, my other one, my fleecy one's a little bit too hot, so on the weekend, I purchased in the sale at Black's um, a new buff, and it's very snazzy. It's got all of the colours, which I really like, and a texture, so it shouldn't show much dirt. And I can wear it either way around, and look, looks very trendy. I'm no fashionista. What else have I bought? I have bought, which I will show you part of the packet because I've already started using them, some hankies. One thing that I never like to go, go without is a nice big hanky because when you spend a lot of time outdoors you'll find that your nose runs and going through tissues is terrible. So I like to have a nice big hanky and it's these ones are actually really quite posh. They're £12.50 for I think it was seven. Seven antibacterial hankies. They're nice and soft. They're a very fine uh, cotton so that makes them nice and soft on your schnoz. I also bought, talking of hankies, this is how cool I am, I bought a little tiny basket from Class Olsen to tidy my hankies into in my underwear drawer. 
yeah, I'm that cool. What else have I bought? I I purchased my grab. Uh, I don't remember what the name is. My wrap jacket, anyway. I think it's called something like fire, firewall jacket. And this is in jam, not pink. And I purchased it because it has a very big hood and it doesn't have loads of seams along the back, which I found to be a problem with my last coat. Uh, because they leaked and this is very well seamed and a nice shape so it actually looks quite feminine rather than many that made me look very boyish with my short hair and finally finally I purchased this Eagle Creek bag and this is rather special actually. This is from Rowan in just by St Anne's Square in Manchester. And it's not only is it a, a bag that's very good for carrying around when you go into museums and you're not allowed to take your massive rucksack, it's um, also a security bag so it has locks so you can lock your zip shut like that. So that that's nice and secure and there's secret pockets in here which also lock as well and what we use it for is um, to carry the bits and bobs we need for the airport so we can put our passports, tickets, uh, Kindle, that sort of thing and maybe some snacks and a bottle of water and then when we're away we can use it for evenings when we don't have to take the massive rucksack and we can use it for museums and galleries that don't let us walk around with large bags. Really handy thing with this one is if you are visiting Auschwitz, um, you can only take bags around this size in and they will get checked. We didn't know this at the time, but it was very handy that it did fit and I'll be writing up my Poland trip very, very soon. Uh, but this has been absolutely valuable. Um, if you'd like to see a review, pop in the comments and let me know and I will uh, do a video review of that. Or any of the other items I've mentioned. Um, no, I did buy something else. I bought some Jacquard products. Uh, fabric dye so I could dye my jeans this amazing green colour. They were um, a pale washed up blue which really didn't suit me at all and I didn't wear them because it would make me laugh every time I put them on. So I've dyed them this beautiful frog green and I can't wait to wear them. And I think that's it for my purchases. So as you can see, it's been an expensive month, but the stuff that I've got is gonna last a very long time. So I'll put in the comments what the products are. I'll have a link to my blog where you can find out some more information, where I bought them, that sort of thing. And as I say, if you'd like to see a review of any of the products, because I've given them a really good try so far, pop in the comments, let me know which item you'd like me to review, and I'll come back with a review for you. So thank you for watching, and here's to hopefully some other good stuff next month.